this is the yeast fermentation experiment. Here we see the yeast here, 0.5 grams of yeast here, the Smith fermentation tube, and the cotton ball which will plug it to hold the gas in the tube. The Smith fermentation tubes are calibrated so you can see the volumes and we have different solutions here that are found in your lab packet set up and ready to go from protein, fructose, lactose, glucose, maltose, starch, the still water, and sucrose. Now we can see all the yeast have been added to their fermentation tube and gently mixed to where they're distributed throughout most of the tube and they have their cotton ball in place so they can contain the gas and measure it in the calibrated end of the tube to determine displacement. Now they'll be put in the hot water bath for approximately 30 minutes. Here you can see the various yeast solutions in their hot water bath and the hot water bath is set at 37 degrees Celsius. And the yeast will be allowed to, to, to attempt their fermentation during this next 30 minute run. A few minutes have elapsed and you can see that there is already gas production in this one tube and the rise and fall of the yeast in the solution. In other tubes there's less fermentation occurring if any at all and we'll check back on it in a few minutes. Here we see 20 minutes has gone by and we have bubbles and gas in many of the tubes here. Some of them have none still and others have lots of gas and then you can tell by the amount of bubbles in the tube fermenting here. There's a little bit here. Over here in this one there's very little or none. Okay next we can see the sucrose produced the most gas here. It's beyond the five milliliters marked on the tube. The still water produced minimal gas. Starch produced minimal gas. Maltose here, you can see that it produced about a milliliters of gas. Glucose is pushing four mils. Lactose is minimal gas. Fructose is around three mils. And protein here is minimal gas. Look at that player. Is that cool?